same words? Yeah. Richard, this is more of a comment than a question. So um, on behalf of the faculty and the students and your colleagues in the School of Biological Sciences, I just want to say congratulations to you on your career. And I want to make uh, two comments, I think, about your lasting legacy. Um, I think I met you for the first time uh, when I joined the Institute Animal Care and Use Committee, and you were his chair. Uh, but in every interaction I've had with you, uh, you have been one of the most fair, kind, and um, considerate people that I've met at Tech. And I think that's uh, a major component of your legacy, and that speaks to the next part, which is basically the programs that you've built, the faculty that mentored, the physiology group that you talked about at the beginning of your program, of your talk today. Like, these two things together are, to me, um, the lasting nature of the legacy that, that you will leave us with. So again, I wanna say congratulations, and I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, helping you in your role as emeritus in the School of Biological Sciences. <laughs> <laughs> a great segue, Todd. Just want to say a few words. Uh, Richard, as Tim relayed to us, your academic journey has been uh, one of an intrepid voyager, but we here at Georgia Tech have been priv privileged to be the last leg of this academic journey, journey, and I might say the most exciting of all, with all our moves. <laughs> 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 when you left Emory University Medical School, you took a chance on a small group of faculty then known as the School of Applied Physiology to become our chair and our leader. And one of your key characteristics, and everyone have uh, intimated, is that we admire your ability to see the potential in everyone you work with, even the custodial staff in our building. I know personally, and I probably speak for many others, I will miss seeing, seeing you sitting in your office, but this, this speaks to Richard. When a student, a visiting scholar, a colleague would come, never would you see Richard sitting across the desk. He would be sitting there engaged one-on-one -on -one in a chair. And again, that speaks to your uh, supportive and collegial nature. You took a chance on me as your associate chair for nearly a decade, my goodness, and always feeling a bit of an outlier. You always made me feel valued. And isn't that a special thing for each one of us to feel value after you leave a conversation with uh, Richard Nichols? I know you are the first to recognize that Behind every man is also a good woman, and we had a package deal with Patricia Nichols <laughs> because she helped us develop our early days, the PhD curriculum, and then, as our former students would say in the integrated physiology course, Patricia Nichols makes this course rock, <laughs> and that's from the evaluations. So on behalf of all of us today, we wish you a fantastic retirement but the physiology group banded together to give you a remembrance of these last 17 years here at Georgia Tech, and don't be a stranger. part of the prior leg with the Emory journey and a great many. And continuing on the personal front, Richard has caused much more legacy than scientific. One of them is right here, because without being in the lab and having been accidental matchmaker to a whole bunch of us. Um, I'm just, just saying. And, and then being, you know, surrogate grandparents and all of that good stuff, Richard and Patricia have been really key. And actually, for me personally, Patricia is the first instigator of physiology because she happened to give 
on a very odd, when I was an undergrad at Emory, on a very odd year, I think it was the one time you gave that course. It was the, uh, a physiology course, human fit. 3.36. 3.36 at 8 a.m. <laughs> um, and there became, uh, you know, there came Patricia, who, who then, um, you know, accidentally also became a confidant because I, I had some things that I needed to talk to someone about and being a foreigner and I thought, oh, this lady has an accent. She must understand foreigners. <laughs> so she did. And then and then years down the road I apply to this program and I bump into Patricia. She's like, what are you doing these days? I'm like, oh I applied to this odd program. Really? My husband runs that program. <laughs> so there we are. But I just really wanted to say, Richard, uh, thank you for everything. So much of obviously my personal life has come because of your lab and a lot of my um, personal growth as well in terms of how to treat people and how to go about my business on the daily. So if I do something bad from, to you, it's because of Richard. No, um, <laughs> but it, it really, you have you have taught way way beyond physiology. So I just wanted to say thank you. program feel free to uh, stay and come up and correct congratulate Richard we uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to the uh, zoom chat but uh, it, it, they're mainly congratulations I'll, I'll give them feel <laughs> free to write your words on the zoom chat if you're all online and we will uh, download it for Richard uh, later so thank you all for coming